Hello everybody, what is up? Prof Toast here. As you can see, we're going to be playing a bit of Riviera the Promised Land for the Game Boy Advance. So this isn't going to be one of my main series, but basically I am just so ridiculously tired from work that, I don't know, I just didn't really have the energy to like hook everything up and start recording one of my main series. But I figured, hey, why not? I'll do about like three or four episodes of this series. If you guys like it, let me know and I'll actually continue it. If not, it'll just be a temporary little thing. I might go back to it here and there. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with a new game. Asgard, Realm of the Gods. Utgard, Land of the Demons. Ragnarok, the war between the gods and the demons. Demon Invaders, cast a world into a state of violent chaos. Chapter 1, Angelic Advent. It's actually, I think, one of my favorite games of the Game Boy Advance, and I love the frickin' uh, PSP remake of it. That frickin' actually had like a shit ton of voice acting. I'd actually be kind of... I was tempted to do the PSP one, but I was kind of running short on time, and then plus all... What was it? Let's go ahead and save right here. New save data. But anyways, I was trying to say, yeah, basically... I have to actually mess around with the PSP emulator to see if I can get it to work properly, but yeah. So, next area... Riviera should just be beyond the heaven's gates. Riviera? Everything must be seen new to you. must- oh, sorry. Everything must seem new to you. Just stay out of the my way. Grrr! What's that? Who we encounter? That's- that horrible scent. I those are demons! Demons? It can't be! I didn't expect to be haunted demons here. So be it. We we'll simply have to use our diviners. The weapons used by Grim Angels, right? Ah, oh, I totally read that wrong. Yes, mine is the Spear of Lorelei. And mine is the Sword of Einjar. Two powerful weapons. Now let us go, Ein. Fight! So I have to pick which items I want to use in battle? That's right, up to four. You can only have... Wait, you only have two now, though. Wow, four items isn't very many. Remember, you can't use the items you haven't selected. Got it, I better choose carefully then. Of course, this is the beginning of the game where it's freaking like a shit ton of tutorial stuff, but that's to be expected of any RPG. Anyways, don't bell if you fall behind, let's go! As you can see, I only have two items to select from, so yeah, Iron Jar. Okay! Of course, right now, his Iron Jar is not going to have all the more strength to it, because I think that's what it is. I don't think he gets the his more powerful attack, so later on. Select an item and press the A button. That's rather basic, don't forget it. Duh, as you can see, his freaking Lorelei is ridiculously strong. He has level 3. There's no skill with that one, so. See, I already freaking bust out 397. Of course, the doll's strong as shit, so yeah. I uh, and his isn't as powerful. It's so weird playing this game without voice acting. I used to the PSP version for like a long ass time. Oh no! You took away 82 of my massive amount of HP. Of course, my overdrive meter has to be full. Damn! Kicks his ass. We've wasted too much time. We must hurry. How foolish. Ooh, I got a B rank. I have a third item, which is potions. Huh, the enemy dropped something. What is it? A bottle? What's inside? It's a potion, which restores health. Hmm, is that so? How lucky! Just don't waste any of the items you find. That'll be essential to an amateur like you. 
You're right. I'll use him sparingly. As you can see, I'm sort of trying to do some sort of voices for him. Though, once it gets to the female characters, yeah, I'm not gonna really be able to do that very well. But anyways, oh, by the way, you can check your items by pressing select. Shit, I gotta figure out what the hell the select button is on here. But I'm using a keyboard right now, so... Let's see, select shift, space, no, that speeds everything up. Ah, whatever, I'll have a look later. It's not important right now. Okay, so that's just gonna be that. Oh yeah, that's right, I can check. How old is this? It's falling apart. Fine, let's get going. Okay. Shit, I really wish I knew what the frick my select button was. Okay, that just kind of paused everything. Oh well. Oh shit. No! Paused the game. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out later. For now, it shouldn't be too important. It'll maybe come in handy when I actually have to train up the weapons. Why are there demons in the, uh, Heaven's Gate? Something's wrong. Oh shit, it's Hector! Grim Angel set. That's fake. Grim Angel. Nah, uh, I don't even know. Okay, whatever. Grim Angel, Sevens of the Gods. Hector? Report the situation. Understood. We have encountered demons at Heaven's Gate. As I thought. They must be under someone's command. But the god's decision is absolute. You must hurry and complete your mission. So, to Riviera? Yes, Riviera is the source of the problem. Truly, it seems to have become another Utgard. The ancient war must not be repeated. This is the purpose of your existence. Eldar, I'm. Hurry towards Riviera. In the name of the gods, protect this world. I understand, Hector. Once you pass Heaven's Gate, you will be on your own. I will no longer be able to contact you. I entrust you with this task. As you wish. Was that an illusion? That was Hector, one of the seven Magi. He ordered us here. It's the duty of the Grim Angels to defeat the demons. Seems like Riviera's turned into Utgar. What's going on at Heaven's Gate? It's our duty to find out. Find that out. Hey, Jan, is this place filled with demons? I don't know. I guess so. We can't afford to waste too much time here. Let's hurry on. Alright! Floor. That's probably nothing going to be useful here until we get a little bit further. More demons! Oh, oh. What are you going to do? Me? I don't know. Fight! Here we go! So now that I actually got potions... Since we're actually up against more as the enemies are enraged about the fallen comrade. They are weak, but don't let your guard down. Gotcha! Here they come! Let's do it. So this is probably where they're gonna damage me, or take a substantial amount of HP, and then freaking this cat's gonna go like, Hey I, this is how you use a potion! It makes your HP go all the way back up. I actually took a good chunk out of both our HPs. Ugh, they're, ugh, they're pretty tough. Fine, are you okay? I'm actually kind of curious, because I know there's a way to basically get the cats kind of like romance ending, but I'm not sure the specific way to do it. I don't know. As we go, well, depending if I continue this game, then we'll decide which character I'm going to go for. So, duh. Booty. Damn, I almost freaking dropped in one attack. Alright. So, Iron Jar. Actually, I should probably heal your ass with a potion. Yay! I feel much better now. Wow, that was great. Now all items are used for attacking. Yeah, we get it. Okay. 